Weight's out. These are on their way. There's nothing to do but wait. They're just showing up now. One big one, one little blue one. These bees pollinate the tree's flowers, and only then will they produce the giant pods. The bees travel around the forest. David follows them. Maybe the solution to the tree's mystery lies at the other end of their journey. They leave the Brazil nut tree's own patch of forest way behind. Over a kilometre away, David finds the same kind of bees flying around a rare, fragrant orchid. Ah, great. Some luck. Uh, fallen branch and a tree. That's one of our orchids. Uh, the kind of the orchid bee would love. Bees are maybe, a, it's been estimated, a million times more sensitive to the kinds of fragrances like orchid flower than we are. They're, they are known to pick these things up and fly it from over a kilometer away. What's going on here? David has discovered that a male bee can't get a mate unless he's wearing a particular scent. And he has to steal that scent from these orchids. So if the forest is cut down and the orchids are destroyed, then the bees won't be able to mate. No reproduction means no new bees, which means the Brazil nut flowers won't be pollinated, which means the pods won't grow.